morning folks. This morning soap comes to us by Eric Soaps. Name this one here is Stealth. Their slogan is uh, Leather Like a Legend, Shave Like a Hero. Pretty cool, isn't it? That's what soap looks like on the inside there. In case you didn't get a chance to look at the um, scent profile, this is Juniper Berries, Jasmine, Bergamot, and Amber. And very nice scent. And all that will make you when you if you should happen to sm smell this one kind of smells like a cologne scent Alan Block no rubber band this morning using Humphrey Witch Hazel citrus scented and decided to follow up with uh, British Sterling we got it whipped up here in a uh, wooden bowl by the way a stink the distinctive goat got pretty pasty not drippy drippy wet like I usually do this uh, particular brush is from MAC Metalworks aluminum handle tuxedo nut and the shaver of the day is a Jim G bar it's got a uh, Jim blade in it of course <laughs> this is a uh, pre-shave soap from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements it's unscented but it is methylated Go ahead and get this applied here. Did not shave yesterday, so got more than a day's worth of growth. The uh, the scent on this uh, soap might be, how can you say, surprising if you're not used to that combination of scents being combined to make something that smells like a, a cologne, but it does smell like one. It's a really nice scent. And as it goes, what clone? I couldn't put my finger on it. Look at the website, which I'll have a link down below. The uh, uh, it's supposed to be different than I can say what you can find elsewhere. Yeah, this one here I whipped up a little bit thicker than what I normally do. It's not dripping. It's still moist, but just not, or wet, not near as wet as the one I usually make it. <laughs> this uh, soap will take a little bit of water also. Alright. Get started with the Gem G bar here. You can kind of notice that uh, a lot of the gems will be like that. Kind of helps with control when you put your little finger underneath that beveled spot there that's angled. We had uh, some weather roll through on Saturday, and uh, we discovered, you know, Tony's not a real big Tony's our German Shepherd. Tony's not a real big fan of uh, thunder. <laughs> He would uh, look at the window, look at me, and bark as if uh, I needed to do something about the thunder. But we do have some more weather we're rolling through this uh, later on today. I don't think it's supposed to be here this morning, but it might be here tomorrow morning again also. So this was originally set up for a Saturday morning shave, but with the weather that we were having, and like I said, Tony not liking it, decided I'd just push it off until this morning. Saturday, though, I did tinker around with a, uh, a new shaver, which I'll, that'll be the next one I'll show in the video. This blade, the gem blade, is uh, Teflon coated. And uh, i tell you right now, the combination is pretty good. Gem G bar with a gem blade and the soap. Pretty smooth shave so far this morning. 
Yeah, we're expecting some more weather again today. The one on Saturday when it came through, most of it was to the south and north of us when it came, I guess you might say, close to my neighborhood. I'm not sure why. Most of it went like this. <laughs> it split, went around us. We still got plenty of rain, thunder, and lightning. We just didn't get the uh, the lowering cloud that had rotation to it. For me, this is a really smooth shaver. Depending on the condition of the shaver, in my opinion, these are pretty inexpensive. And you can find them in some, you know, a pretty decent shape. Still trying to get caught up on my videos. It's been a, um, I guess you might say, time working outside. There's a lot to do outside this time of the year. When it wasn't raining. When it was raining, I was, um, how can you say, talking to the kids about the weather. Helping them understand what's going on and how they can look at the uh, the weather report themselves and try to decipher what all's going on. Know where to go, what to do. When you should be concerned and when you shouldn't be. I guess you might say weather aware. Here in Oklahoma, that's going to be a good thing. We get our share of uh, nasty weather. And if you're wondering, even with my nose, I can still smell the scent of the soap, which is pretty good for my nose. It has a little bit of a feedback on the uh, Instagram pass. Soap is pretty creamy. Seems to provide a pretty good, uh, not only slickness, but a, seem to be a little bit of cushion there too. This is another one of those shavers you can shave with it all week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just a really nice, smooth, comfortable shave. tempted to shave with this again tomorrow. I may have to. <laughs> it's not my original plan, but I may have to. It's a nice shaver. I think I posted a, or yeah, on Instagram I posted mentioning a video about it's kind of nice to see the CVS is uh, selling a double-edged safety razor. Makes it pretty nice. Being able to go in the stores and finding all kinds of neat stuff from time to time. Not a whole lot. If you're a guy that's trying to find your stuff uh, in a store, you'll have to go to several stores in order to get everything you need around here. My face, it feels really nice this morning. Smooth, moisturized. Just a really nice post shave feel. That is really nice. Of course, I haven't had any trouble out of Herc soaps anyway. I really do like their soaps. Got 
got just a little bit of stinging on my cheek up here. Outside of that, everything's good to go. I'll have a link down below for uh, Herc Soaps. I'm going to take a look at what they have available. They do have samples. If you're not wanting to buy a full-size puck, you can get a, a sample. I think the samples are around about $2. Don't remember what size they come in, though. But I think it's like $2 for the sample. Matter of fact, uh, this morning already, earlier this morning, earlier than this, <laughs> which is um, 4.30, uh, my son was already talking to me about uh, he's going to be home tomorrow, but the wife is going to be off working and I'm going to be working, and he was wanting to know what he needs to do. <laughs> We're having a good time this morning. And that's what the restrictor looks like. Now this one here, the British Sterling, is still not too terribly tough to find. I can usually find it at Walmart, but it's also usually locked up. So you'll have to ask for permission to buy it. But this one here, as a matter of fact, I went ahead and decided to uh, order the... Uh, the uh, Cologne EDT, if you will, for British Sterling. I like the scent on this one here. And um, I also have uh, British Sterling, the uh, HIM uh, EDT, as well as private stock, which is pretty nice. Matter of fact, I got that, ran into some folks by the way of Instagram to get that one there. The, uh, the two, uh, the, the HIM and the private stock. I'm not sure if that's HIM that because there's a, you know, periods in between all that or if you want to call it him. However, it's what it said. But anyway, some really nice smelling stuff, that's for sure. Face feels good. Really nice this morning. Great shave this morning. Hope everybody's doing well. If you happen to be in an area like me, definitely stay safe and smooth shakes to you.